Praise the Lord everyone and welcome to the God Seller 7 channel. I'm Sister Barbara and I have a prophecy I'd like to read for you this morning. I got this prophecy yesterday. Uh, I heard again over the course of three days uh, the first sentence. So again I know this is something uh, that the Lord definitely wants me to uh, put up on here on YouTube. And uh, there must be, again, importance to this uh, sentence as, like I said, I heard it over and over for three, three days now. So Revelation, you could join me in the King James Version Study Bible. Uh, Revelation 16, uh, let's see, verses 8 and 9. And um, we have several uh, messages up here uh, concerning the trumpets and the bowls. So this it has to do with the bowl judgment. Uh, the fourth bowl. Men are scorched. Then the fourth angel poured out his bowl on the sun, and power was given to him to scorch men with fire. And they were scorched with great heat, and they blasphemed the name of God who has power over these plagues. And they did not repent and give him glory. And the next scripture, we're in the same area, so this is another bowl. Uh, let's see, Revelation 16, uh, verses 17 and 18. This is the seventh bowl. And there were noises and thunderings and lightnings, and there was a great earthquake, such a mighty and great earthquake as had not occurred since men were on the earth. And there's also another scripture, and actually a message I have up here already, um, and it's uh, Nehemiah 13, uh, Chapter 13, verse 19. I'm not going to read that because my message is long. Uh, but it has to do with, uh, I think it's called, The Gate is Closed at Twilight. So it seems like uh, the both of these messages go together with the gate being closed. And here is the prophecy message. The sun shall scorch the earth. The waters from the springs will be dry. The rain will not fall as the time is upon those of the earth that bow to the serpent. My prophets proclaim my time. The nations of the earth will mourn as their master fills their ears with lies. They will bow to him. They are deaf and blind. I have proclaimed my time to them, yet they still do not hear. The earth will quake, fire will fill the sky. The war machines are ready for the battle, as the great and terrible day is at hand. Blood shall flow as had never been seen. It will cover the land like the blood I poured out for my sheep. The blood poured out will be that of the evildoers. No sheep will be harmed, for they will be safe under my wing. Knowledge goes to and fro and covers the land, but the knowledge they seek is not of me. It is of the world. The world cannot save those who choose the serpent. Repent and come to me before the land is covered with confusion and chaos. How is it? You still don't see me when I laid down my life for you. My chosen messengers are calling you as I have instructed. Why don't you hear and believe? The moon shall turn to blood and the stars will fall from the sky. The scriptures foretell of my coming. Come before the gate closes at twilight. The thieves and robbers cannot enter again. Come. So that's a really strong message. And I reviewed the message I got. Um, I'm not sure when I put this other one up that about the gate closing at twilight. I know I got this during our intercessory prayer service at church. But that message is so strong. Uh, I would suggest you uh, check that video out. I don't have time to read that right now. And um, again, uh, if you've been on here before, you know that the Lord has put it on me. My job is to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Um, I'll be doing it until September 23rd, 2015, uh, Yom Kippur. Uh, and the Lord has, uh, is asking all those out there uh, to respond to his message. Uh, he's offering a complete cancellation of your spiritual debt. 
and a brand new beginning to anyone that is coming forward and calling him. So please, repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus. You'll receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Um, if you're not familiar with the Bible scriptures, you can read about that in Acts. There's a lot of uh, good information in there. You can even Google it if you don't have a Bible. Uh, but please, like the Lord says, how many of our messages say that the gate is closing at twilight. Um, those people that are on the other side of the gate, they're not going to be able to get in at, at that point. Um, we know that there's an ending and a judgment. And don't be, be deceived by what you hear out there on maybe other channels and on the mainstream TV. Um, because there is judgment coming and nothing is going to be, uh, you know, happy and, and everything. He's telling us that now is the time you need to do something to secure your place in, in eternity. So don't be deceived by the lies of the world. Uh, because again, uh, I always say that once uh, when you're on the, the team of the devil, he doesn't bother you. Once you change sides, you're really going to you're going to get it. So you you don't want to be on the side of the devil right now. You want to join the other team. So yeah, please repent and baptize and be baptized in the name of Jesus. I love all you guys out there. Thank you so much, all my friends and subscribers. And uh, join me again for another message. Praise the Lord.